Everyone is interested in the recent rise in the price of Tesla stock. But the news we have for you today is much more important than the recent rise. Warren Buffett, the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, is involved. It looks like the legendary Oracle of Omaha has finally become seriously interested in Tesla stock. This could truly change the course of the stock for good. You won't want to miss this because now people are wondering if Buffett is finally ready to think of Tesla stock as the most important thing he has ever done. Hold on tight, because this ride is about to get crazy. Elon Musk could be about to change many businesses for the better. Before Christmas, Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, said something very bold. He said that Warren Buffett is probably going to buy cheap stocks in 2023 when the market is unstable. A lot of people thought that Buffett was going to buy Tesla stock because of this. In a Twitter chat with the Mars catalog, Musk said, I think Warren Buffett will buy a lot of stock next year now is the time to buy if a company has good fundamentals and the market is in a short-term bear market. Musk's comment brings to light Buffett's famous knack for finding good companies that are cheap and investing in them for the long term, even when things aren't going well. Musk is worried that rising interest rates and a slowing economy will hurt stock prices and car sales. This makes it clear that he thinks market instability will give Buffett good deals. Last year, it was reported that Berkshire Hathaway was continuing to sell its long-held stake in Bide. This made it clear that the famous investor was selling Bide shares, possibly in favor of Tesla. The Chinese company Bide has been the leader in electric vehicles for 14 years and has shown that it can compete with Tesla very well. Some people think that Buffett might be investing in Tesla with the money he gets from selling his Bide shares. A vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway, Charlie Munger, has praised Tesla's achievements in the auto business, calling them miraculous. This has made the rumors even stronger. In a recent episode of CNBC's Squawk Box, Munger praised Elon Musk and said that Musk's work at Tesla was an amazing achievement in the American auto business. But Munger made it clear that he doesn't think Tesla is like Bitcoin. He said, we haven't had a successful new auto firm in a long, long time, yet Tesla and its CEO, Elon Musk, have made significant contributions to civilization. Munger pointed out that Tesla stock has dropped by about 50% in the past few months, even though the company is worth more than any other electric car company in the world. Some companies like Lucid Group and Rivian Automotive have been going down lately, but NEO's 20% drop in the last three months looks better. It is still not competitive, though, when you look at Bide's progress. Berkshire owns 14% of Bide, and the company has been doing really well. In the last three months, the stock has gone up almost 5%. This might not seem like a big deal in a normal situation, but the rest of the EV business has been doing very badly during this time. When looking at the stock market, it's clear that Bide is ahead of Tesla. The EVs that these two businesses sell are very different from one another. Bide sells both fully electric vehicles and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, FIAVs, which have longer ranges than fully electric EVs. Tesla, on the other hand, only sells fully electric cars. EVs made by Bide are also cheaper than Tesla's, which makes them more popular in China. Because this market is so big, Tesla had to lower the prices of its cars. Due to the COVID-19 spread, both Tesla and Bide have had trouble making cars in China, but Bide seems to have handled these problems better. But Tesla isn't just an electric car business. Elon Musk thinks that Tesla will be able to increase the number of cars it delivers by an average of 50% each year for the foreseeable future. This will make Tesla a leader in electric vehicles and one of the hottest stocks of the last 10 years. Tesla is successful, but it's not what you'd call a Warren Buffett stock. The future of electric vehicles EVs looks bright because Tesla has the highest operating margin in the whole auto business. The price of Tesla shares has dropped more than 75% since their all-time high. So why doesn't Buffett Buffett buy them? One could say that Buffett might not be able to understand Tesla's business plan. Because of this, he has stayed away from some of the biggest tech stocks in the past. Even so, Buffett has shown that he is not against buying EV stocks. After all, he already has a 3.5% share in General Motors and a big stake in the Chinese electric vehicle startup Bide. The price of Tesla shares is probably one of the most important things for Buffett. Tesla is trading at about 24 times earnings right now, and its price to earnings growth ratio is 1.08. This makes it a good investment compared to Berkshire's other stocks. Many people, though, say that Buffett still doesn't like how cheap Tesla stock is. Before he buys a stock, Buffett uses a simple test. If the price is too high compared to how much he thinks it will make, he won't buy it. Tesla might look great at first glance, but it doesn't pass Buffett's test. Some Tesla cars will be on sale for less at the end of 2022, which suggests that Buffett might not be sure that the company has a wide enough moat. Musk, on the other hand, has famously called Buffett's idea of moats lame and said that what counts is how quickly new ideas are implemented. Buffett and others may see Tesla's recent actions as proof that the company doesn't have as much of a competitive edge as many people think. Even though Elon Musk isn't the type of CEO that Warren Buffett usually likes, it looks like Buffett has some respect for him and, by extension, Tesla's ability to do very well in the near future. Buffett confirmed this in a past interview with Charlie Rose, who used to work for CBS. In that interview, Buffett praised Musk for the great things he has done for Tesla. 
I can't believe Elon is doing that. Buffett said he's up against firms like General Motors, Ford, Toyota, and others that have a lot of money, but all he has is an idea. Even though Tesla didn't create the electric car or the market for luxury electric vehicles, the fact that the company is always coming up with new goods helps it. That's what Buffett says. He says the auto business is growing quickly as more companies make electric vehicles. Tesla's unique business plan, in which the company controls both sales and service, is one reason why its stock has done so well since its IPO. Even so, a lot of investors and experts see Tesla more as a tech company than a car company. Its stock price went up over 300% in 2013, making it one of the most valuable companies in the world, with a market capitalization of more than $600 billion. If Buffett ever buys Tesla stock, it will depend on when, how much, and how strongly he feels about it. If you want to be successful at trading, you have to be patient and wait for the right pitch to hit.